British actor Ed Skrein has quit the upcoming Hollywood reboot of Hellboy after his casting sparked outcries of whitewashing. Critics said his casting was just the latest incident of an Asian role being handed to a white actor. The actor says he's stepping down so the role can be cast appropriately. Melissa Pesic is the executive director of the Media Diversity Institute and she joins me now from London. Melissa, great to have you with us. As a campaigner for diversity in media, are you surprised that a white actor was cast for this role and additionally that a star in a big budget movie like this one is standing down from such a major role? Well, not quite surprised because you probably know that, uh, you know, Britain, regardless of how bad tabloids are here, that there has been this debate going on for quite a while in the sphere of the media. Either we talk about film, theater, or news media. Uh, so it's not a big surprise, but it's a very welcome, welcoming gesture. And I hope that what happened today that he decided, you know, to pull out of the film, of this film, which can bring a lot of money, that can be the, the next, uh, actually, the step to the to, to the next point, actually. He definitely gained a lot of support for doing this. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's good that after decades and decades of whitewashing or you know, putting uh, actors such as Laurence Olivier or J Johnny Depp into the roles which actually should be played by people who come from different ethnic uh, background or race, that something like this is happening. And I have to say, to take for, ins for, to take for instance, Renee Zellweger, who played Bridget Jones, and a lot of Brits had a big uproar over the fact that an American actress was playing a British role. So it's certainly not uncommon for somebody of a different race to play a character of another race. But is this just a bigger deal because this is a topic that we have seen, you know, the so-called whitewashing in the media these days? And where does that kind of stand now since Hollywood took a stand at the Oscars uh, recently having that big protest, Oscar is so black. Well, it's definitely a much bigger step than, you know, um, giving American actress a role in, you know, of a British character, definitely much more, particularly because of a long history of uh, racism uh, in in the Western media or in, in the West. But I want to say that uh, we should not stop here. As you can guess, um, you know, this kind of exclusion of people of different ethnic background or racial background in the media is much actually has roots in much, much deeper, um, you know, uh, sectors of society. So uh, exclusion of people based on race, ethnicity, gender, physical, mental abilities, sexual orientation is something which uh, has been around for quite a long time and needs really to to be fought much more seriously, particularly Absolutely. at the age of Melissa, what is we have to unfortunately leave it there. You, uh, and thank you so much for your thoughts. And um, and that is Melissa Pechich, the executive director of the Media Diversity Institute in London. Thank you for that.